She wakes up and takes up a surfboard Heads out, out from the seashore From the world and where she lives She's got no fears and worries at all right there Just the smell of salt water that's in the air And the sunrise Fly Girl Surfing and Sports TV is brought to you by Tazzy Boutique, inspired by the ocean and nestled in the country. Hair by Lisa and Nixie. Hair, nails, facials, waxing, and more. Your one stop beauty shop in Haliva. Surf Tech, leader in design and innovation. Surf and technology. Find the warehouse on Queen Street in Honolulu. ASP Hawaii, bringing surfing to the world. Jerry's Pizza, serving pizzas, subs, salads, and desserts. And now, with delivery. The best pizza, Jerry's Pizza. If you're looking for the best pizza on the island of Oahu, come to Jerry's Pizza in Waialua. Jerry's Pizza has proudly been serving up pizzas since 1988. Stop settling for second-rate pizza and treat yourself, your family, or your team. And sink your teeth into the best pizza in all of Hawaii. Aloha, I'm Corey Harvey with Fly Girl Sports TV, and on this action-packed episode, we take you to Haleiwa for the Surf and Sea Sup Race presented by O'Neill and Surf Tech. We also take you down to Waikiki on the other side of the island for the China Wahine Classic. And we'll take you for a dive at Second Reef Pipe to find out what's happening to our coral reefs out there, which is not good news. So come along for the ride. <laughs> The Duke's Ocean Fest is right around the corner. Join in, make memories at Waikiki's premier ocean sports festival, all in honor of Duke Hanamoku and the sports he loved. Duke Hanamoku is remembered as the greatest waterman that ever lived, and he had the greatest aloha spirit. Join in the celebration August 16th to the 24th. See you in Waikiki for the Duke's Ocean Fest. Thousands of cigarette butts litter our parks and beaches. It's Kauai in the ashtray. Smokers, if you're in your car or at the beach, hang on to your butts. Protect ocean wildlife and keep Kauai clean. A reminder from the Surfrider Foundation. This is how you get there. Find the ocean at Surf and Sea. This is how you find the best gear. Everything for the ocean is here. Don't you sit around the beach. Hi, I'm Haley. I'm Rachel. And this is Fly Girl Sports TV. Woo! Well, I'm a marine biologist by profession, but more important than that, I've surfed since I was four years old. And I've surfed all up and down the north shore of Oahu and around the world, even though I currently live in Honolulu. Um, one of my main studies is, is I photo document or video document coral reefs throughout the Hawaiian Islands. During a thousand hour underwater study that I did here in Oahu in Kauai, I started seeing a very unusual coral disease in the Honolulu North Shore of Kauai area. I reported that to Dr. Greta Abbey at the University of Manoa uh, in Kaneohe Bay. And since that time, in the last three years, over two million corals in Kauai have died from this very bad cyanobacterial disease. We're studying it with NOAA, the USGS, Scripps Institute, the state of Hawaii, and myself. The sand on our beaches is ground up coral. The coral is the first part of the reef that puts pressure and tension on the underside of the wave, so the waves break. Out here at Pipeline behind me, there used to be a lot of healthy coral at Second Reef and Third Reef. This would cause the waves to break outside and not back off and break on the inner reef and also the shoreline. 
So the corals actually are saving homes from falling into the ocean, but the corals really make waves more hollow. So what I'm trying to teach people, that corals are not only living creatures that inhabit our ocean, and we need to keep all of these living creatures healthy and alive, but they also act as a defense for the wear and tear of the coastline, and they make waves better. My job as a surfer and a scuba diver is to document the reefs, turn the info over to the University of Hawaii, NOAA, and other experts so they can help me if the reef's unhealthy, find out why it's unhealthy, and hopefully fix the problem. 80% of the wealth in the United States of America is within the first half mile of our coastline. So we're going to have to start making some very hardcore decisions about what parts of the city need to be removed, what houses need to be moved back, what houses or buildings may need to be moved completely, and lift up the old homes to replace the leaky sewer pipes and cesspools. So this is a long-term event that's community-based. I just play one part in it in the video documentation, but we all need to get together and put together a model on how we're going to save our coastline in the next 30, 40 years, because it's going to have some major changes. The saltwater table underneath these houses used to be 10 to 15 feet deep. Now it's only like three feet deep. So this salt water coming back underneath the homes, the school, the community, everything here, is deteriorating the sewage systems and the cesspools. So even if we're good stewards of the ocean from now on, we have a problem because as the sea level rises, it's going to flush toxins out from underneath the town, suck them back out to sea, kill the reef and make it unhealthy for you and I to surf here. Thanks for joining us on Fly Girl Sports TV. You can catch every episode on OC16.TV or on Facebook under Fly Girl Surfing and Sports. We'll see you next time. Aloha. Fly Girl Surfing and Sports TV is brought to you by Tazzy Boutique, inspired by the ocean and nestled in the country. Hair by Lisa and Mixie. Hair, nails, facials, waxing, and more. Your one-stop beauty shop in Haleiwa. Surf Tech, leader in design and innovation. Surf and technology. Find the warehouse on Queen Street in Honolulu. ASP Hawaii, bringing surfing to the world. Jerry's Pizza, serving pizzas, subs, salads, and desserts. And now, with delivery. The best pizza, Jerry's Pizza.